Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm just doing some experimenting with the telemetry options with OpenTX 2.1 and this is my Tyrannus X9e. It's running uh, OpenTX 2.1.7 and some of the um, telemetry features are a bit different to how they function in 2.0. Uh, one of those that I noticed, noticed right away was uh, the GPS. Now with 2.0 um, it would give you the height above the takeoff position but with 2.1 by default it's giving you a true GPS calculated height which is above mean sea level so uh, I was just uh, curious about how I could get the height above ground level again and uh, and it's actually quite easy so what I've done let me just show you some of the um, features I've got here and uh, I've got my quad out on the balcony which means half of the sky is shielded by the, the building I live in and so the satellite geometry is not that good so you will see some variation um, just as, as I go through this video but uh, on the top left hand side there we've got distance. Now the distance is the horizontal distance from the takeoff position as opposed to range. Range is a calculated number based on the horizontal distance from the takeoff position and the height above the takeoff position. So it's like a, like a slant range or, or the hypotenuse of those two measurements. Ground speed is pretty obvious how fast it's going. RSSI we all know about. Now the other ones that I really uh, am quite happy that I can do this is it gives me AGL which is height above ground level and height above mean sea level so presently where I live it's about 650 to 700 feet above mean sea level so that's that's pretty good within the accuracy of uh, GPS if I just reset the telemetry you'll see that's going to uh, hold fairly steady now as I said the reason it's bouncing around a bit is because the, uh, the GPS doesn't have a, a full Clear, um, view of the sky there. Anyway, I'll show you how I set that up. If we go into the telemetry page, when you discover the sensors, what we need to do is come down to the one that says G out. Now it was originally that one there, so if we go in and start editing, I changed it to AGL, which is above ground level, and what I also did to get uh, the height above the ground was just set the auto offset. Just by ticking the auto offset, when you first um, reset the telemetry, it measures the, the height above sea level and it subtracts that from any future reading. So it's giving you a height above the, uh, the takeoff position, which is, which is basically all I wanted there. So that's good. If we go out, back to there. Now what I ended up doing was just copying that parameter and it's down here and I've renamed that one to AMSL which is above mean sea level. Now that's basically the G out parameter unchanged. You'll see I don't have the auto offset. So we're actually getting 704 feet which is approximate height above sea level in this location. The distance it's a custom, sorry a calculated setup. I had to name the distance myself and we're using the formula of distance based on GPS only. Okay, so it's just measuring the horizontal distance. If we compare that to the range, same basic idea, calculated distance, but this time it's using GPS for horizontal distance and the height above ground level. For the um, for the height of the quad, and by by calculating the uh, hypotenuse of the horizontal distance and the vertical height, it gives you the uh, what they call the slant range to the quad. So yeah, so that's working uh, pretty well so far. I look forward to getting out and uh, trying it tomorrow. Thanks for watching.